In this quick video, we will learn what entrances are in Google Analytics 4 and when you might want to use them. Some time ago, I created a tutorial on exit pages. They are the last pages in a session. Now, the entrances are the opposite. They show how many times a page was the first page in the session. To see that metric in Google Analytics 4, let's go to Explore and then create a blank exploration. Then here, let's add a dimension, for example, page path, then select this one and confirm. And then in metrics, we can select entrances, then views, and then exits. Let's double click on all of these to add them to the report. So now we see how many times this page was the first page of the session, then how many times it was viewed at all. It means that it might have been the first page of the session, it could have been the second page of the session, it could have been the fifth page, whatever, and then how many times that page was the last page of the session. One of the situations where you might find the entrances metric useful is when you want to see the landing pages. Because normally, when you check the landing pages, you use the landing page dimension, and then maybe the sessions metric, like this, and confirm. So here, if you add landing page and sessions, you will see how many times that page was the first page of the session. But as you can see, the landing page dimension does not show the host name, or in other words, the domain. I think that's a very annoying limitation of Google Analytics. I wish that I could have, let's say, the landing page, but also a landing page with host name as a separate dimension. This would be useful because it's very common for Google Analytics users to track multiple websites with the same property. And in this case, I cannot tell which domain does it belong to. Is it the main website or is it the blog, the support page, the e-commerce site or something like that? So when you're using entrances, you could technically use another dimension, which is called page location. So you select that, then confirm. And instead of page path, use page location. And now you can see the URLs together with the host name. Of course, keep in mind that page location includes other things as well, such as query parameters like GTM debug or whatever. So you will have many more rows in the report compared to the page path. But if a situation that requires you to distinguish which domain is it, then this might be the approach that you need. And that's the end of this video. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of what entrances are in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.